Have a guess what I'm doing to the Triumph of Claim. Right, well I was just taking some bits and pieces off to repaint and make it look a bit tidier. And obviously the rocker cover was going to be one of the things that I was going, or I am going to repaint. So I took that off, and on the top of all the rockers was a lovely coating of mayonnaise. So I don't know whether it's through storage, it's had a moisture build up, I would suggest that it's probably got a head gasket issue. So uh, I'm not going to mess about, I'm actually going to change the head gasket as well. So. I'm going to be sourcing my earth. Bear, bear in mind it's near enough stripped down now. All I've got to do basically is undo the exhaust manifold bolts and there's 10 head studs. I've got to take the cam belt back off again because I've actually put a new cam belt on so I'm going to be doing that and lifting the head and replacing the gasket. So yeah, as you can see, I've a um, brand new timing belt. With these you have to take the upper cover off, which I've done there obviously, and you have to take this lower cover off down there and uh, this is the water pump this side which is actually fine there's no play or anything in there so that just received the clean up and you have to take the bottom pulley off on these triumph claims and the best way to get access is through here through the wheel arch and down there you probably can't see it but there's an actual rubber plug which you clip out and then take the wheel off and you put just an extension bar of a 70 was it a 70 mil socket what's on it yeah, 17 mil socket, anti-clockwise, because there was some doubt with what people were saying on the forums that um, they didn't know what what way the engine turns. It's an anti-clockwise engine, but you actually undo the nut anti-clockwise. And all you do on the flywheel, you've got three little notches. You probably can't see me on the flywheel cover. There, you can see. Let me get that a bit nearer. There's a little peak on the flywheel cover, and on this edge of the flywheel there's three little notches one two three the first notch there that is the top dead center mark so providing you've got that lined up on top dead center on the flywheel pulley I don't know whether you can see or not but there's two little notches there's one there and there's one there horizontal they've got to be in line with the flat of the cylinder head so there, that's got to be horizontal as well. So that's your top dead centre marks. Once you've got them with top dead centre marks, you have to take off this engine, top engine mounting bracket. Remove that. Remove the bottom pulley nut, as I said, by 17mm. I used an impact wrench on that uh, with me uh, impact driver from me air hose, you know that. Well, that come off easy. The lower case in these two nuts here, as you can probably see, you un as soon as you undo these, well, in actual fact, what you've got is these little rubber washers on them. So these little rubber washers pull off and you can actually slide these nuts, the casing off of these nuts. Because if you undo these nuts, that undoes the tensioner inside. There's a big tensioner wheel inside there. And I, did, I undone that first of all and the, the tensioner in the spring comes off basically. So, But the way this is designed, as I say, this is designed that you can put these nuts in and then slide this casing back on over it and then just put these little rubber washers on to um, stop the casing from slipping or coming out or whatever yeah so that's it so you detension the timing belt with them two nuts there and then you slide the belt off and that's it so all I've got to do is literally slide this off anyway but it's all set up for top dead centre that's the alternator uh, distributor driver as you can see that goes into there again I've, I'm going to re-time this I'm waiting for my timing light to come anyway so I'm going to redo the timing on that that's not a problem what else have I done in here i've repainted the radiator now that's got to go back in there was also a plate down here that uh, was all rusted which has got to go back in now again if you can't undo your your nut on your lower pulley as you can see here this is my starter motor here and all it is is a matter of undoing two bolts to get the starter motor out you've got one here which goes in this way and the, the other starter motor bolt is on the other side which is probably down here i don't know if you can see that and that withdraw this way now this one is an actual longer bolt so you've got two bolts that's the longest bolt 
and that's the shorter bolt make sure they go back in the same way and then your starter motor comes out and in there then you can get a, a, a large screwdriver or something because you can see the teeth to your starter gear and you can wedge that and then perhaps get some sort of a sort of breaker bar and then undo your nut anti-clockwise that's if you haven't got an air gun like i have you will need a large lever so that's the way to probably do that jack the car up and do it that way so as you can see i've painted that up anyway because i had it off and you got the yeah i got it so I've, I've got jimmy here now jimmy's going to give us hand we're going to try and put this rear uh windscreen back in now it looks like all this on this is a brand new one believe me believe it or not it's a new old stock one it's been in stock obviously for years and years this is brand new this cost me 90 90 pounds believe it or not but all this old stuff on it as you can probably see it's all old grease so I've, I've tried to wipe it off but i mean technically speaking i'm gonna have to clear all this off once we've got the actual windscreen in so what we're going to do now is try and use the old rope trick we've got one of these here which is a bit of cord nylon cord we're going to lay that around the inside grill the inside groove uh, which is there we'll show you that in a minute we're just going to get some washing up liquid just to rub on the inside of the rubber seal because this is very dry as i say because the old grease on this is all uh, worn now so we're just going to get some washing up liquid and rub that so we're going to start to try and get this in now mom did you try some coke Properly then, yeah. He's telling me how to do this, by the way. We've done it before, but he's, he's decided he's in charge. Oh, right? Come on. Right, you've overlapped it, yeah? Yes. Right, okay. It's all very liquid up. Right, you're going to go inside and do the pulling. Clear that grill out, uh, groove, groove out there. Get that shite out of there. Look, not really, not gonna be a load of it. Right, you're going inside then, throw it inside. Lift, drop, one more stereo. Oh, see what I've got to get inside. <laughs> hey, see what I've got to get I inside. Just move the boxes. No, don't push it. Don't just force everything. Everything's laid out in order in there, not like you when you do something. Them parts are unavailable now. Them parts are unavailable. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. Right now, we're getting the bottom edge in first, right? You've got to get that groove in there somehow. Is it in, do you reckon? That looks pretty good, doesn't it? Ready? Well, hold on. We've got to make sure we're pretty lined up first. Line up, isn't it? How are you? How does your end look, Lee? Does the bottom look like it could push in? Okay. Yeah, the bottom can go in. Mine looks like it could go in as well. That's alright, then. I'm going to start with it. Right, you get the start on it, then. Go on, in. Go on, in. Let's just push down on it, Lee. Is that going? Yeah. Keep it going, baby. Jimmy's pulling that cord, and hopefully the, <laughs> the rubber is pinging over the actual lip of the uh, frame. Well, just do what then? Move back the way, then I'll pull it down. It's coming out all right? It looks like it's lined up, doesn't it? Keep pushing down, Lee. That's it, you got it. Keep it going. Mind a bit of rubber at the top there, Lee, by the way, where your hand is like, so it's popping up a bit. That's it. Keep the pressure on, baby. Yeah. Is that alright? It's gone round? Yeah, we have You watch them speakers. So Jimmy's pulling there with all his might. Just make sure that rubber pings over. I'm putting pressure down. 
How do you, how do people do this on their own? Window screen blokes when they come around. You know? You can move that speaker. <laughs> look at that pinging in, look. Oh, I love it when it goes together properly. That gone, yeah? Just keep the pressure on, baby. Go on, around that corner. Does that go? Is it going? Say that again? Follow it up with your hand. I am following it <coughs> up with your hand. Go on. Is that gone? The it's on. It's not. Oh, Jim, I can see it's on. Me too. Right, it's just the top edge now. My edge is top, but your, your bit needs to go in now, doesn't You've it? Got to do the bottom corners. Oh, yeah, Jimmy, go from the bottom corner over Lee's side again. <laughs> Keep your pressure on there, Lee. I'm all in here. Go on, that's it, follow him up. I can't, I can't imagine this job on your own though. Hey. No, you imagine doing it on your own. The mini was alright, that was pretty simple to put back well, in. Harder than this. Harder than this? Yeah. Is it going alright? It looks like it. Oh. Is that still going? Is it going? Yeah. Back to the back there. Not here. Here. Go on it. Let's have a look in here. Yeah. That's it. Go on. It's going, isn't it? Yeah. Can't be much more. That's the thing I haven't got, I haven't got the insert yet. I've got to try and locate an insert for this. And that's what holds the actual screen in. Although it ain't going the way I mean, but um, well that's the rear screen in, that didn't take too long. You've just seen that in real time there, so another job done. Just needs a good clean up. And as I say, I've got to source that now to get that. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing, Jimmy? Bit of maintenance. What are you checking? Water, oil? Have we got oil? You alright for oil? What else have you done, Jimmy? You took them strips that was on the side of your car off, didn't you? Mm. Your rubber, you had them rubber bumper strips. What are you going to do? Are you putting them back? Yeah. What are you doing to them? Uh, cleaning them up. Cleaning them up? Why don't you clean them up on the car then? Painting them, oh, you're painting them. Yeah, so it's not cleaning them up then, is it? I told you yesterday. Yeah, but you didn't tell the people, did you? He's going to be cleaning them up. He told me you are going to do a metallic black, didn't you? I'm back in the game now. There we go. He's living from month to month. So, little update video this one. As you know, I'm going to leave the front rubber in. This one actually cleaned up pretty much okay. So, that's yeah, that's the sort of finish we've got. Look, so that, that rubber is not perished at all. The rear one was perished, as you know. So, I've got to try and source the uh, inserts now. But before that, I'm going to be doing the head gasket on this. I did have one noisy tap it, which I was going to see to anyway. So, as I've got it down this far... Oh, another thing I found as well was... Um, Whilst I took out the starter motor here before I um, undone the timing belt, down there I've got a, I don't know whether you can see it or not, hold on, down there, we've got a split drive shaft gator. So I've actually bought a new one of them, so we've been putting one of them on as well. So again, these are little jobs which you might as well do, but I'm sure you'll see that the engine bay is starting to look a lot tidier now, and um, again, it's just little bits and pieces. We've got lots of other things going on, otherwise, normally this would be done in pretty much. Uh, maybe a few weekends but I'm not gonna rush it I don't need to rush it we've got de decent weather at the moment I've got to try and locate a head gasket now so that's what I'm gonna try and do now apparently they're pretty hard to come come across as well so I'm gonna leave it there and we'll see you again in the next video until then hope you enjoyed this one rear windscreen is now in thanks very much see you later bye for now